Hello there, I'm AJ Puzzleford, and welcome back to X4 Foundation Split Vendetta and our pirate run, where we are now in the Nemesis, one of my favourite ships, and as you can see, it has one, two, three, four um, uh, disintegrator thingies, so disintegrators, and one ion disruptor, which is great because it's uh, it's it's almost exactly the same. Well, it is exactly the same layout as I had on the Chimera, which I have apparently lost somewhere around the universe. Uh, where have I put it? Somewhere around the universe. I think I'm in um, Argon Prime. Yeah, 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 there it is. It's over there. Great. Uh, I've been. Uh, re-evaluating what I wanted on my um, rattlesnakes uh, as we have now given one of them a bunch of missiles. Where are the rattlesnakes? Uh, ooh, I don't know. Because I've named them now. Uh, ah, there we go. We've got the tracker rattlesnake. So this rattlesnake has uh, a bunch of tracker missiles on it. Hence the name. Uh, it's got pulse for the large things, but all of the small ones are tracker missiles. And as such, I have 280 heavy swarm missiles on it, which uh, hopefully, if it gets uh, attacked by a bunch of uh, Xenon, then it will have enough of those to cause serious damage. I've totally forgotten what I called the other rattlesnake. Oh, I called it rattlesnake beams because it's exactly the same layout only I put beams instead of the uh, the trackers as you can see we have a heck of a lot of ships but most of them are, are fighter ships uh, apart from two traders we actually need more traders I've been s I, I was selling all of my traders because I was at the time I was thinking I need battleships so we now have shed loads of battleships and exactly two traders I mean we have the big traders but they can't dock everywhere uh, I need to get some cargo drones for those so I need to send them to do the cargo drone thing <laughs> Uh, however, we have teleportation, as we noticed in the last episode, and we are moving on to teleportation 2. We have all of the uh, the advanced electronics and all of the energy cells that we could possibly need, uh, but we need antimatter converters, which I think I was on the way to getting. I think I've sent a ship to get that. However, trade ships... That's what we want. Now, I'm curious to know if shooting down trade ships in this area that a Zyarth uh, will be bad for us, or if it'll be okay. Because this um, space, the uh, the free family space, they don't mind me shooting the, uh, the, these, the dragons. They don't mind me shooting the dragons, uh, which is good. But uh, I don't know whether they're going to have the same tolerance of me shooting the, um, the trade ships. So we'll just have to see. However... I have been capturing more things, and I managed to capture two dragon raiders. So we have two extra dragon raiders in our uh, in our um, amount of ships. And I was told very smartly by someone uh, that I should probably change the loadout on my dragons because I've put um, the disruptors on all of my dragons thinking, yeah, disruptors, they're going to be great. But uh, it has been pointed out to me that if I have them in a bunch of ships and they're shooting, then there's a very good chance that they're going to shoot each other. And if they shoot each other with the dis uh, the um, the disintegrators, uh, then they are going to ruin the hull of uh, their friends. And that is going to be incredibly inconvenient. Anyway, we're going to go and we're going to see if we can uh, do some damage to boa. this uh, to this boa over here uh, and uh, and get away with it i'm hoping that we will i haven't got the best of engines on this thing i think i've got a well actually let's find out rather than just guessing guessing doesn't seem to uh, do it does it so where are we we are here and the information says we have Engines somewhere. Where's the engines? Mm, uh, ah, split travel engines three. I've gone for the travel engines because the travel engines just are faster. It's just as simple as that. So I'm going for the travel engines. They might not have as good um, uh, turning or um, you know all that sort of stuff, uh, but they do. They do go faster. And uh, 
this might be better against Xenon. A little, perhaps. <laughs> I don't know, but we'll just have to see. And I put the beams on so that uh, the uh, the the beams can shoot down missiles. If that works, I don't know. I've not tried beams much. Every time I tried beams, I found that they did hardly any damage, and I was a little bit worried that they would they would just not work. Uh, so yeah, we've got beams for now. They may be changed to something else pronto like when I find that the missiles hit me anyway that's probably what's going to happen and in the meanwhile let's get over here and see if we can get this if we're there fast enough what's that holy order pontifex uh huh, okay they don't like me for some reason I don't know what I've done to do that I mean they don't like me anyway I, uh, basically because I steal their stuff but you know I might have to buy some uh, not buy some I might have to steal some more of these uh, these nemesis because I do want the nemesis and that that special nemesis that was in that sector, the special one. I want that one. That that is definitely something I must have. Right. Let's just see if we can get this boa before it disappears into that gate. It's not got far. Hmm. You stop. Stop where you are. Otherwise, you'll get away, and that would be very inconvenient. Come over here. Are we going to get it? These are also really bad at bailing. They just don't like it. Okay, shoot, 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 shoot. Like that hurt. What? Oh, he's going to this you station. Tolerate your actions. Stop your attack immediately. You say that, but are you really going to be bothered? It appears they might be, actually. Maybe they don't like you attacking the traders so much. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. That's alright. You you do that. Actually, if it shoots the station, then the station will go against it. And then it'll die from station. So, uh, go on, shoot the station. I dare you. Yeah. It's just shooting me at the moment. It shot the station. It definitely shot the station. I heard that. Go on. Is the station going to retaliate? No. It's just going to land at the station and that's going to be it. Laser yeah. Mark one. I'm not going to destroy that because... Well, I don't know. That's actually a fighter ship, isn't it? So they might appreciate me destroying that. That's okay. Okay, so we've got our answer. We can't shoot the trade ships in um, free family space. Because they will, they will not appreciate it. Yeah. Picky. <laughs> they don't mind me shooting all of the uh, the them, but uh, anything that's not them, they do mind. Huh? That's rubbish. Right. Where can I fight up from um, them then? Let's see. Uh, obviously these these sectors would be fine because they don't mind that at all. I still don't get why they haven't destroyed this. They hmm. Maybe I could destroy some of the guns on it and help them. Or maybe I should bring the rattlesnake in here and blast it to smithereens. Yeah. Okay. They're going to be fine. I can't get those ships there either. There's, it's only really Argon space where I can get those ships. And it, this doesn't count because this is... Um, uh, Antigone. And the Antigone... They don't mind the Zyarth. I think. Last time I checked, I believe that that was the way. Let's have a, just, just a quick check to make sure that I'm right on that one. The Antigone Republic. You, you enemies, and... Oh, the Zyarth Patriarchy does show up in their list of enemies. Oh, good! Then I can blast ships in their, their space. Excellent. All right, so anywhere in Argon space is fine. That's brilliant. Too big. This is the problem. I always want to go for the big ships because they're big. But uh, it's really the uh, the small ships, the, the trade ships that I want. Ah, there's a few over there. But even the pirates don't like you fighting them. Hmm. I might be best to get back to Morning Star again because that might be the best place to actually pick up these. I have seen a few go through Argon Prime. We, we will have to see... 
Although we can get traders at a, um, HOP, but the HOP ones are incredibly slow. I'll have to get better engines on them. And, of course, there are the... the, the there is the small fact that the HOP... The, the, this place is covered in xenon. Absolutely heaving with it. This is why I've stayed away from that sector for so long. Because it's covered in xenon. And I don't really want to find that I am xenoned to death. Because... There's a lot of xenon. Okay, so... So then, we're not having much luck here. Hmm. Yes. I might travel over to Morning Star then. So what I'll do is I'll get over to Morning Star, and then... I shall see you. Unless I find something on the way. Which quite often happens, believe it or not. I'm very good at fight going... Um, sort of... I'm on the way somewhere and I find about three different marauders or something on the way there and, and grab them all because that's basically just what I do. My eyes are being Kestrel, beat up over there. Vanguard. Oh, that's that Kestrel that I got ages ago and never actually touched. <laughs> I've got a few ships that are just peppered around the universe that I've not picked up after, after spending ages getting them to bail. And I was probably excited about getting that Kestrel at the time. Junk Still. <laughs> It's dealt with. It's dealt with for now. I'll come back to it. It just it, nobody five, attacks them or one. anything like that, and they don't disappear. So if, as long as you've got someone to bail, they're yours. That's that. They, it's just a matter of time. So I'll go back there and grab those at another time. I did. Uh, I, I'd had a Matrix fight against. Oh dear. Four, five, one. I wish it would show these things before I drive straight into them. I had another fight against a uh, against a. Builder, I was trying to grab as a replacement builder, but unfortunately the uh, the um, Argon military got in there, swooped in, and destroyed it before I got a chance to take it. But that's all because they decided to dump laser towers. They like doing that. It's like, yeah, we'll throw up the laser towers. That'll help us defend our ship. But in actual fact, what it does is it gets the Argon military angry. And they all descend upon them. And if you're an Argon Prime, then that's a really, 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 really bad idea. Anyhow, it died. Uh, but a um, a Wyvern that uh, was nearby it at the time did not die. In fact, I claimed it. And uh, despite the fact it was being surrounded by the... Uh, by the S. Hello, S. Uh, by the military again. The, the behemoths and stuff. Uh, and a uh, and a not a Zeus, the other one, the Argon equivalent of the Zeus, uh, and uh, it it was being surrounded by these ships, and I was thinking, oh dear, they're going to do it again. But no, they didn't. I managed to get the ship, and I sold it because uh, we've got quite a lot of these bigger ships, and I figured, well, you know, if we're gonna if we're gonna have loads of these bigger ships, it's better to sell some of them because then I can equip my other ships more precisely to what I want. Talking about equipping the other ships to more precisely than it, I need to change all of the guns on the dragons, don't I? I've also been it's also been told to me that the flak can uh, the flak stuff turrets are, are, are very useful for the uh, the uh, the shooting of small ships, uh, and I should probably consider flak turrets on some things. Uh, I'll have to test that out at some point. At the moment, I'm not ready for it, and I didn't have much luck with the flak turrets last time I, I tried them out, so I don't know. I don't know. We'll just have to see. As, as I said earlier, I stuck a load of um, a load of tracker things on there, and I, I figured because that way it's it's like beyond the control of the uh, of the um, entering system, the Not ship itself. Zura. So if the ship's rubbish at aiming, oh hello there, hello Minotaur. there. Raiders. I had a feeling that there would be a few of these around. Oh well. We might as well test out our new guns and ship on the uh, on the on the raider, because it's here and it's always nice to get another raider. Though I really want the ones that have four guns rather than the ones that just have two, because two turrets is rubbish, and they don't hold as many missiles either. Hmm. Okay, where are you going, raider? You can't go there at that speed forever. Oh, it is pretty, isn't it? Look at that purplish sun. And everything that's really nice okay get over here come on you going into another sector how dare you stay where you are it's 
probably trying to escape me. That's most likely its plan. But at these wonderful speeds, it doesn't stand a chance until it goes into the next sector and completely it disappears. That would be a problem. Alright. It looks like we've got a relatively similar top speed. Mmm, that makes it difficult. I need you to stop now. Don't go in there. Don't you dare. It's going in there, isn't it? It is. That's its plan. It's going in there. It's gone in there. Boo. Where's it gone to, anyway? It's gone to... Where's it gone to? Does that take it down here? Oh wait, that takes it up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's here. Hmm. It's it looks as if it's behind the gate, but obviously it must be somewhere over here. It, it's, it doesn't always report things totally accurately to where they are, but uh, yeah. Ah, uh, we're not going that way. We'll go the other way and get onto uh, thingy. There, there's probably other things on the way as well. It's so easy to miss these ships if uh, if you've not got a fast enough engine for travel. Then uh, it's very easy to miss them. My Chimera was brilliant for catching up with ships like that because it would actually get to uh, get to five thousand, nearly six thousand in uh, in in travel speed, which is so good for that. Anyway, highway. I will continue on my way. I need to get back to mapping the anomaly network because the anomalies go all over the place in the universe and, and attach one place to another very easily so uh, it's quite helpful to uh, to actually get that set up so that you know where you're system. going talking about the Zeus I'm in bright promise and there it is a wonderful Zeus I've still not got one and I, I can't imagine me actually getting one for a very long time because it would involve attacking one which is uh, slightly dangerous, but if I can find a HOP Zeus, then I I may actually try that because obviously I want one. So yeah, we'll just have to see. And we're in Morning Star, and of course there's absolutely no uh, traders in here at the moment, so I shall have to focus on this little ship over here. If I destroy it, more rep. If I don't destroy it then, you know, I might get a little ship out of it. So, let's see what we can do. But being in the right place is always helpful. And uh, we can always nip into Heretic's End and try and get some ships over there as well. Because they, they are more readily going into Heretic's End than they are going into Morningstar. Because obviously, this is their enemy. But they do like to nip in and out of this sector a little bit. Just the traders. Don't know why. It's just a thing they do. All right, Mamba. It is time. Why are you going at two? Th at least you can't go as fast as me. That's good. Oh, it's gonna get. It's gonna get got by the Argon security team. It is, isn't it? Leave it alone. I want that ship. Come on. Just give me this ship. That's 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 fine, right? Just just this one. Should I leave the Mamba to destroy the Argon security before? Huh. This is a good plan. Yes! Ah, that also revealed what type of guns it's got. Good ones! What the heck? <laughs> Do you? I doubt that. <laughs> right. You watch. I'll get I'll get uh, destroyed by a little ship. <laughs> hmm. That is possible. Alright. You! Stop nipping around! You're going way too quick. If I wanted to destroy you, I would use all of my guns. This is your only chance to survive, mister. Oh, hello. Was that a trader? Wait, 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 wait. Was that a trader? It is a trader! Hmm. But now I've annoyed this ship. Which means I've got to deal with this ship before I can go anywhere near the trader. But it's good that traders are going through here quite happily, isn't it? Aye, aye, there's a behemoth destroyer and a load of security team on their way for this one. Especially after they destroyed that other one. Right. Hmm. I don't know whether we're going to get much chance to get this. Is that too slow to get this little ship? You die. Will I? I like your guns. They're quite fun. 
They're not doing enough damage to my uh, to my shields, but you know, they're still quite this fun. Make you pay for that. How about you pay for attacking me with your ship? Right. Uh, I could blast it to bits very easily. I mean, that's no problem. But grabbing it, Split want to ooh, leave. I very nearly destroyed that ship. I'm so glad I was using the ion disruptors instead of the other thing. Okay, so we got that one now. But it, are we too late for that uh, trans for that trade ship? We probably are. I suspect it's probably going to escape. Yeah. Quick, quick, get over there. We're not going to be fast enough. It's. It's got to 2,000, and we can only go at 3,000 something, so, uh, you know, we probably aren't going to catch up with it. Let's see, what's the next sector from here? I think it's Hatikva's Choice, which is still an enemy to it. So if we go into Hatikva's Choice, although we're taking a massive risk with Xenon in the area, we could perhaps still get this ship. It's, it's a little bit risky. In fact, it's a lot of a bit risky because the... Oh, it's gone already. Uh, it's a lot of a bit risky because it's uh, the Xenon are horrendous. Mm, mm, I can't see it, can I? No, I've got no satellites in this area. Why have I not got satellites in that area? Why would I think that I didn't need them? Uh, okay, I don't want to send the Chimera in there to put satellites on its own. You know, we've got 12 satellites, that's great, but I don't want... I, I will have to do that myself. I can't send that in there, because if it gets destroyed, I will be so disappointed. That's the only Chimera we've got. And it's really awesome. I like the Chimera a lot. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to have to wait for that. Honestly, we've, we've, we've got one ship from this, from this run. One Mamba, uh, which wasn't the target that I was after in the slightest, but uh, we've, we've missed two... Uh, two transport ships however we're in the right place that is definite hang on wait a minute i thought it had gone through the gate it hasn't gone through the gate it's still on right i've found it but it's asking permission to dock at the at the antigone station ah. okay using lots of strafe we cannot tolerate your actions Oh, who is it Stop this time? <laughs> who is it this time who's defending them? Uh, these trade ships, they're always doing this. They go straight to the station and then you can't do anything about it. Hello. It's definitely on the station now. <laughs> That's two traders we've missed just because they've landed at the stations. That's really inconvenient. Oh well. I shall come back to this and I shall continue trying to blast these uh, these traders, but I shall continue in the next episode. In the meanwhile, you take care. Thanks for watching. Feel free to watch other things on my channel. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Bye for now.